Okay, so if I just select channel 10, there's only 100 samples. What's the current is segment size is 40. That's why it's played two nodes. The fourth nodes were 21, weren't they? Yeah, two 21s. That's not good. I said it's okay, but it's, yeah. Shall then if we plot the whole thing, that's the G. It keeps bounding with 21s. Some 27s in there, 34. Okay, we'll stop that just by reloading the page. Explain how the frequency mapping is happening in the code. Sketch 53.5, the same thing. So there's two main steps finding dominant frequencies, mapping frequencies to MIDI numbers. Right, frequency calculation, the trending, FFT analysis. Identifying dominant frequencies, scaling to MIDI numbers, and doing a JSON response. So, a couple of questions. Are we doing dominant frequencies only? Can we find how many peaks are there in the frequency spectrum? So, I want to see if there are multiple uh, frequency components in the data. So that would be within each uh, segment size. I don't know if we should be plotting it uh, because the tool is already quite heavy. Might have a, a plot option turned on, turned off. So if the plots turned off, uh, the tool will be faster. Hopefully. Can we modify the code to find multiple frequency spectrum peaks? So potentially F0, F1, F2, suggesting another function. F catch frequencies already? No. So how many top frequencies is it finding? Five. Finding this sort of top peaks. So how about we do three and then uh, play them as uh, separate nodes? The yeah, GPT-4 has a different suggestion, but I think this one actually will actually work number is preset somewhere is it yeah i want to find that peaks and then say take three three of them but we shouldn't be assuming there are three peaks or should we find a uh, three peak frequencies in the spectrum and then turn them into in separate notes uh, play together a chord like chords and uh, simplify this quickly can we modify the code to find three peak frequencies in the spectrum and then turn them into three separate notes played together currently we have one note at a time the window size of 100 and uh, pretty sure we have the segment size at 40 that's why we're getting two nodes should be a middle of a seizure looking at chords yeah on the top three yeah this minus three they would not be played together they be played one after another particularly if they get dominant frequencies i get the three of them at once dominant frequencies FFT sampling rate FFT yeah this bit so we're getting the top three in the list still returning dominant frequencies so the output should be the same we need to modify convert the G to the sampling rate to the next and parts of the median numbers will stuff up my code give it a go anyway we okay. change this to 200 it doesn't work it's just the being uh, rewritten elsewhere as a uh, default it must be in the HTML and we need to play at least 
400. That will be one second worth of data. Inside we should have 10 nodes. I won't play until I actually change something on the page. So we select a different channel. Yeah, okay. No problem. So if I clear this, this is a non related problem. I use the scroller. Can you cheat that once? Why does it twice? So, a couple of things. I'll change the code, play MIDI numbers together as a chord. Also, uh, when using the scroller, play twice instead of once only. How many functions do we have? Something wrong with this search. So we have nine uh, definitions. Trend data, get dominant frequency, scale to MIDI, frequency to MIDI, load data. In load data, we're already playing with EG. Update the play sequence function to accept the list of MIDI numbers and play them together as a chord. You can do this by calling the play method for each MIDI number simultaneously. Yeah, but we don't have this function. We do have PM ready somewhere. It's not in JavaScript. Wait, are you sure this is Python? This is JavaScript, isn't it? Play sequence. Yes, we do have play sequence. I made a mistake here. This should be JavaScript. Not Python. We need to update the JavaScript. Let's see. Media numbers. It's the same. Add index to create another constant to hold all the oscillators for the chord. Let's just try that. This function looks complete. We need to frequency. So we have frequency to media number. This is a mistake. And let's test that again. Then make mistake here. JavaScript is this function. 78. And it's actually a different line is it 77 one five one sounds more likely midi two frequency and this work piano loaded with all notes that's nice uh yeah that's very wrong isn't it there's something very wrong so for a window size of 400 i expect 10 chords playing one after they have a yeah, maybe three MIDI numbers for each segment. Can we make sure for each segment we find three peak frequencies and then translate them into three notes and then play them as a chord? She could somehow jump between uh, GPT-4 and 3.5 because obviously some things are simple and could be much quicker addressed by 3.5. So generally in the code, are we creating MIDI notes, but then eventually turning them back to frequencies? Is that correct? Okay, <laughs> that was the sound. It was horrible. It was horrible. Okay, so the conclusion is for now, Sounds very horrible. Let's try uh, playing with some more. The other thing is, pretty sure we have to increase the segment size. It's not JS, is it? No, Python. Is it? No, do that. Segment size. No, it's 40. Yeah, this segment size should be longer if we make it about 100 we we'll reload the page and we do a uh, the whole uh, the whole segment so this should have the seizure onset start this page and yeah, those are the frequencies that meant to be translated into nodes into chords each uh, three so that will be your dominant frequency and essentially F1 and F2. 
so we're meant to be finding three peaks in the FFT in the spectrogram. Yeah, this will need more work. Don't know why some of them just repeat themselves. Does it mean it couldn't find the third peak? Are any of them different, like having three different components? No, we all have one and two of the same. Not sure why. So if uh, the second size is 400, essentially we'll generate a chord every second. Let's try that quickly. There should be less of them, less chords. Let's try the whole thing. All right, we'll need to remap this, those uh, frequencies. It's generally working. Okay, yeah. If you have any suggestions, comments, screaming at me. I'm doing something horribly wrong, do let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.